Sea scallops and ratatouille vegetables are the stars of this dish. Our next guest is a culinary expert from one of the area's most popular Italian-inspired restaurants. John Kipler is here. He's going to make a flavorful sea scallop risotto, apparently with ratatouille. I didn't yeah, know about that. That's correct. a surprise. I'm excited about that, though. How are you today? I'm good. Awesome. So we got this. We have the scallops going. You're going right with butter mm -hmm. with these. So you cook it in the brown butter rather than in oil. Mm -hmm. It brings out a little bit more flavor of the seafood. And then uh, if you're going to help out, you're going to make am. some ratatouille risotto. I've never made ratatouille risotto. I'm pretty excited about this. Okay. Well, ratatouille is the basis of it. It's a uh, vegetable mix. We have eggplant, zucchini, diced peppers, and onions. Okay. Zucchini. That's already heated up for is you. Is that the official mix for a ratatouille? Or uh, traditionally, you... it's got tomatoes as well. I just go throw it in there. You dump her in. All right. So that's kind of the traditional mix. I can't really take liberties if I'm going to call it ratatouille. That's what it, would, <laughs> that's what it would be. So instead of a fresh tomatoes, we have a tomato compote that we make in the restaurant as well. Ooh la la. What's, this, what's the motivation for making the compote? Is it a little bit more intense in flavor? It's going to bring out some more flavors. Uh, the compote itself has fresh basil and then roasted garlic in it. Yum. There's a lot of flavor happening in, in this you can, dish. You can go ahead and put that in. Oh, okay. Quit no, stalling. Is that right? Is that what you're telling me? I think you were just uh, having fun. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, John. We do have fun once in a while, right? Okay. So that goes in. Presto changeo. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and give it a mix, and then we're going to put in our risotto. Oh. Okay. Now, you seem to have, obviously, the compote kind of came together beforehand. It looks mm -hmm. like those vegetables might have been pre-sauteed. Uh, you're cutting me kind of uh, a break here, John, by having most of these things done. I'm just mixing, right? Well, we do make, we have a scratch kitchen. So yes. all these items, we're making this very similar to the way we would make it in the restaurant. Um, so that it doesn't take too long. Risotto does take uh, quite some time to cook traditionally. Mm -hmm. uh, so we do have that ready made. But when an order would come in, it would be similar to this. So gonna, it can be, so these are the secrets of the kitchen. When I order a 45 minute dish and I get it after a comfortable, 15 to 20 minutes, that's that's how it happens. That is how it happens. Right. It's our little tricks. What's What did you just put so in? So we put in a roasted chicken stock. Mm. Uh, you can eat, most risottos you'll cook with a bursi of some sort or a stock. Uh, we use a chicken stock with this particular dish to give it a little bit more flavor. Look at this, it's all, once the heat hits it, it's all just kind of melding together. Mm -hmm. I'm enchanted. It looks great. Oh, this is just the risotto, the ratatouille risotto. What are the scallops doing over there? Uh, we're browning up nicely, so we just make sure that we get them cooked all the way through. Do get I, a nice sear on the outside. Do you have to do anything special with the scallops beforehand? Uh, we season them with some olive oil, salt, and pepper. So pretty basic. Mm -hmm. We get those in fresh from our seafood supplier. Mm -hmm. And uh, Look at how amazing this is, if I do say so myself. We, we're making a good wonderful. kitchen you're team. You're doing okay. great. All right. We'll let that simmer off, and then the rice or the risotto is going to absorb some of that chicken stock up, mm -hmm. and we'll get more, more of a stewish type texture to it. All right. We're also going to add in the rest of our ingredients now. Okay. So to the ratatouille or to the to the to the risotto. Risotto. Ratatouille. Yeah. Can I put them all in? Butter. Absolutely. This um, is. I'm sorry, not this one. Oh, My, see. See, I lied to you. Sorry. Okay. That was. A, it's only our, a test. This These is are going to be our garnish. And then we have some grated Reggiano cheese as well you can throw in there. Can I, I'm afraid now. Can that go in? I promise okay. it can go in this time. <laughs> okay, sprinkle, 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 sprinkle. Mm -hmm. And then fold, some more folding. Absolutely. All right. That's a nice, generous helping of butter there, John, that you put in here. We want to get, bring out as much flavor as possible. Don't tell the dentist that was on earlier. I, well, I think butter has <laughs> fats in it. I don't know whether it's healthy or not. We just will. <laughs> Mom's the word on that one. Uh, that's just coming together. Oh man, this looks good. My mouth is my mouth is literally watering because this is going to be fantastic. Yeah. Scallops don't take all that long. Uh, no, they're doing well, but again, you want to make sure you get them cooked through to the inside. So I've got it on a little bit of a lower heat. So again, we get a good sear on the outside. Is there a through on the inside? Is there a secret to finding that right? Um, temperature for them do you do you take them off a, like a titch beforehand just so they don't overcook or well, I would say do like a medium high heat rather than uh, scorching hot because mm -hmm. you, again you don't want to burn the outside and have the middle of it be undercooked right and again since we're cooking with butter 
the butter can scorch very quickly. Mm -hmm. So you want to make sure that we don't over, over scorch that. Okay. Oh, look at this. You can see it thickening up now. I think that was the butter. The butter was sweet talking the rest of the sauce, mm -hmm. telling it what to do. So that's good. Right? All right, you're looking pretty good. We you're almost awesome? there. Okay, let it go a little bit more. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, uh, look at this awesomeness over here. You mentioned this is on a new seasonal menu, so you've got a delicious dish here with salmon. That is a salmon risotto. Uh, it's got uh, red bell peppers, mushrooms, and asparagus. Mm -hmm. And we top it with Reggiano cheese and fresh basil. Yum. Uh, I know you're eyeing the dessert as well. How did you know? Uh, <laughs> As soon as you I walked keep, over. I keep leaning over there towards it. I thought the, I was being subtle. The uh, dessert is a chocolate molten cake. Yum. So it's kind of has a lava style cake. On Underneath is a mascarpone cream that we make. Oh, wow. Mix in with some powdered sugar. Oops. And then on top is a raspberry gelato with some raspberry sauce and some white candy pearls as well. Yum. That looks magnificent. And then you've got some lobster over here. Is risotto the season, ticket to the season? Uh, that is going to be our promotion uh, through March 25th. We're going to have seasonal risottos. Yum. Uh, this is our shrimp and broiled lobster risotto. It has a very similar base to the salmon risotto with the, onion, I'm sorry, the mushrooms, mm -hmm. bell peppers, asparagus. Mm -hmm. uh, Top of the broiled lobster tail, it also has 10 sauteed shrimp in it as well. Awesome. So we have about a minute and a half. You're this about ready. did totally what you said it was going to do. Is that <laughs> plating over here? You're right. Okay. All right. So I'm just going to lay it in here and you're going to massage it so it's nice and pretty. All right. I can handle that part. We'll create a little nest for our delicious scallops. All right. And they all go on there. Look at that. Are your mouths watering at home yet, everyone? I'll tell you what. Now, do the, do, does the ratatouille bring kind of a neat compliment? I guess it does. This is a silly question, but a neat compliment <laughs> to the scallops. Do you like this together a lot, John? Um, this is one of my favorite dishes that we run right now. Um, the lobster risotto is actually on our menu full, uh, permanently. It's not just a seasonal, mm -hmm. and it's very, very popular. But every time this comes back, it seems like we can't keep enough scallops on hand. I can see why. We have like 45 <laughs> seconds left. You were telling me about these fantastic offerings in the other part of the restaurant. We also have some seasonal drinks um, that I could make one of them for you real quick. Sounds good. Which one would you like? The um, Bullet Rosa I think you bullet were looking Rosa, at? Bullet Rosa, yes. All right, so the Bullet, bullet Rosa is going to be similar to kind of like a cross between a martini and a sangria. We've got Bullet Rye Whiskey mixed with our, some other ingredients, and we're going to top it with 19 Crimes. That's a red wine blend which is extremely popular. It's not a legal Thursday, Tom, <laughs> but we are, we are adding in the 19 crimes. Is Tom here for that? Did you hear that, Tom? Yes, I did. All right. Well, I, have, I think we're all ready. Great job, friend. Thank you very much. I, like, I appreciate like, you having me on. Uh, we appreciate you being here. Let me do a little quality control. Ready? Absolutely. Ooh. Enjoy. Mm -hmm. Oh, hello, my friend. I'll be back for you. And then <laughs> we'll have a little bit in here. I let it cool down. There was some strategy here before we went. Okay, to our friends, we want to say thanks to our friends from Brio Tusking.